Hey folks, welcome back. Okay, so uh, we're on round 73 and uh, yeah, I was just having a quick look at the assets that we've got. Specifically, I was filtering through to look at the um, industrial assets. Here's an interesting thing. We've got four cities. Um, technically, these are, these small ones aren't really cities, these are villages. Um, and Kirkwall is our largest city. Now, Kirkwall has two of these industrial outputs, uh, assets. We've got Industry 2 in the public, and then we've got a private industry of uh, Light Industry 3. Now, this one's producing 188 industrial points, which is quite a lot, by the way, for a f essentially a free asset. Although, um, in this case, we actually, I think we, I can't remember, but we probably spent fake points on this. Um, now, altogether, what's that, 300, 430... 438 something like that um is that right 304 yeah 438 god my maths is bad so this this is how much this city is producing now if you look at the industrial point output um we are producing 514 76 of which comes from service tax now if you look at vice uh, corona and tech support uh, specifically just look at this number so this is what we're producing vice with two twenty two thousand. 400 so we're almost on the threshold with the level two um you know to town is only producing 14 through industrial points uh through service tax corona is producing eight and tech support one so you see that service tax initially is kind of important until you start getting these up after this point service tax really really gives you very very minimal gains so I've been having an interesting discussion with one of the guys I'm playing um, a multiplayer game with and he was saying, you know, he doesn't like to, he doesn't think you should have too many recruits sat around because they're not producing producing service tax, specifically service tax. Um, I think, again, it depends on the map, but I honestly would rather have recruits than the, the you know, a little bit of service tax in all honesty, because if you're relying on service tax at this point in the game, <laughs> you're going to lose. <laughs> you're going to lose, man. So, yeah, I don't know. I, initially, that, that idea was very, very... It's an interesting idea, and it's definitely... He, he's onto something. You don't want lots of troops to sat around doing nothing. There's no doubt about that. I think that's a really, you know, a very astute point. A kind of obvious point, in a sense, once you understand the mechanic, but I think it's a good point. However, I don't think that that's something that I should be worrying too hard about like I was. Like, I, I, part of me was like, oh, you know, a bit kind of concerned because maybe, you know, I should be not be making so many troops and having to sat around. No, 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 no. I've changed my mind now. I want recruits because if a war breaks out, I need to be able to pump out units fast. And, you know, 18,000 troops isn't going to go very far at all. So I, I really don't care so much about the service tax, actually, in that respect. Um really don't care about it. I'd much rather have the troops, at least on most maps that I've played. Okay, let's have a look at the history. Um, there was a battle here, where are we? On this uh, western corner, or western edge. We lost 100 troops, that was it. And that was it. Um, the, other than that, there wasn't really a whole lot going on, look. Just moving around. Blips on the radar. Uh, Vidcom. We've hit tech level 5, which is going to increase our service tax, incidentally, uh, amongst other things. We've also got an eager industrialist card. This is a great card. Really, really good card. And, uh, yeah, we've got some extra, extra cards as well. Now, now the reason why I started... It was seeing that private industry card that got me thinking, like, where do I want to put this? Now, we've already maxed it out on Kirkwall, so I think the next one is going to be whichever our second biggest city is, which is going to be Vicer here. Um, yeah, we, we look, we are almost about... we. Yeah, we've we've not quite got enough population to uh, to hit level two, but I think that if we keep building assets in these places, we are going to attract more people into these cities. So this is going to be the, the aim of the game. This might be a slow game, guys. There's a heads up on that one. It might be a slow game because I think if I'm going to stand a chance of survival, I need. Oh, wow! Look at that. Schwarzmark of seemed to have um, dropped our relations again. We've got to do something about that. If they go to war with us, then, you know, we're going to be at war. And I don't want to be at war yet. Now, uh, the other thing I noticed is that Varot has actually has actually switched over now. And they've had a regime change. So, uh, let's go to Varot Domain. Yeah, we've actually got the, um, the humanists, I think, are in power now. Let me just have a look at this. Or am I, am I getting, am I being completely crazy? 
No, I'm being completely crazy. It's not happened yet. Um, yeah, it's Christina Holbauer who is going to be the uh, Varowatz or Krista Holb uh, Hubauer. So she's going to be the one who's going to take over if she wins the, the vote. Um, I think she probably will. Now, she's going to be easier for us to deal with and make friends with. Uh, but these guys are bumping into Schwarzmark now. Like here's here's where Schwarzmark is kind of like coming in. Let me just see if I've got oh, I've turned off, I turn off my pen tool. Oh no, there we are. So look, they're kind of coming in this way, and these guys are coming in this way. They are going to meet somewhere around here, and uh, in fact, probably somewhere around here, judging by these mountains. So you're kind of this this whole area is kind of like up for grabs, and I I do think that we're going to find that. Eventually, we're going to want these guys to go to war. That was what really what we want. What we really want is Schwarzmark to. We we want to get a date. We want to try to manipulate them so that they get some ugly group in. Try to make it so that they're they're not friends with these guys, and then they go to war. And then while they're at war, I pick on Schwarzmark as well, and then I build. You know, I I take more territory that way. I think that's going to be that's that's a you know a baseline plan. Because if you look at regimes, right, this is our this is our territory here. Then we've got Var uh, Varot here. This is all, uh, you know, kind of unclaimed land. And then we've got um, we've got Schwarzmark here. Now we've also got Friedsect. Friedsect. I think that's these guys. I don't think they're very big. Don't really know much about them. They're also a, a difficult regime. Uh, okay. Did I show you the vidcom? Yes, I did. So, um, Colleen wants to organise a party. For, the, for our veterans. I mean, any of these, none of these choices are particularly good for me at the moment. I don't want to be raising government very high. Um, I don't want to be raising mind. I'd probably rather have mind than the others, though. I think in this case, we're just going to go with what makes people happy. So, we're going to get an increase to heart. That's probably the best one here. So, let's, let's get her partying. Director of the Supreme Command Council. Yeah, we want political power here. We're not getting very many political points. Let's just keep that as it is. Minor worker strike in Texfort. Okay, uh, let's have a look at Texfort. I think we've got troops stationed there. Now, Texfort doesn't have many people. We don't want to kill many people either. Um, I'm tempted to give in some of their demands here, I think. Yeah, raising democracy is probably going to be the best bet. I want to keep meritocracy high here. So let's just give them 28 credits. I can, I can afford that. Spy, uh, spies in Schwarzmark have obtained a document that reveals their president is involved in severe mis uh, misdoings. Right. Now we want, again, we kind of want these guys, we need to keep these guys on a, you know, on an aggressive path. At the moment we've got humanists in, right? Ah. I kind of want to switch these now. We probably want to switch these to Crusaders because I don't mind really, I, I don't really want to go to war with them, but I do want them to go to war with our opponents so I'm actually going to switch this over now because um, I've got because my plan is basically to make these guys fight and try to get these guys on my side so if I can get these guys on my side then you know they can fight and then I can pick a team I, I pick a side but I think I probably want to fight these guys at the end of the game uh, that will be an interesting end game challenge I think so okay uh, what else can we do no don't want to do that that doesn't look like a good thing for me Let's try and push these guys back here. Let's get these bikes back round here and, and move them down here to help to assist with the third. In fact, I might actually get these guys attached to the third. Um, now. I've got another bike group here. Let's go down this way and just kind of push some of this stuff back here. Let's check out what we've got with, with supplies. Okay, so now uh, here in Avon, we're actually putting up a mine. We didn't actually have enough um, industrial points to, to get everything out. I, as I thought, I'd overspent a little bit last turn. So, um, two, three, four, five, why did I put it there? Oh yeah, okay. I might actually drop this supply base once this, um, once this truck station goes up. Yeah, I think that'd probably be wise. I'll probably just uh, I'll probably just mothball it. That's about it, I think. Oh, we've got some stuff to do up here, so we're, I think we're just kind of pushing these guys back. I'm 
try and get that metal walker and yeah I want these guys just staying here I think I want them staying there I, I, I need them oh mind you, we've got to be careful not to get oh, I want this let's move it back here I can afford to lose that I can't afford to get so encircled here because I really need this and it, I know what will happen they'll take this and then these guys will move in and take it and then I've got to go to war with them to get it back and um, yeah I, I really don't want that happening that would be a critically bad situation for me we need more troops up here let's get these bikes up let's get these bikes up at least as just a, uh, you know as a quick fix got some militia here as well let's bring these militia up too we can at least use them as a blocking unit Okay, so have a look at our construction overview. Yeah, let's just leave that for the time being. Gonna wait. It's gonna take a few turns for this to go through. Um, one thing I will say about this game, by the way, considering this, how small the size of it is, the turn times are absolutely brutal. <laughs> it's like they're as long as they were on my big sh on that really big let's play I did for Explominate. Like. I don't know why they're taking so long. I think it's because I put the AI on the highest level. So it's kind of my fault, I guess, but I don't know. Like I, I want the game to, I want the AI to be able to play on its best level. I'd rather I'd rather the game was slow than easy. <laughs> like I, I mean I mean that as well. Like I'd i would much rather the game took a while than it was just too easy. I've I've really maxed out the difficulty settings on this game and I really want it, I want it to be difficult. Um this is pushing the limits of what I can handle, I think, but at the moment, it's not too bad. Like, it, it will get difficult if I get invaded, that's for sure. Let's get stratagems and see if we can... Uh, what we got? Okay, we don't even have... We can gift. Can't afford a gift. I wonder if it's possible to get a non-aggression pack with these guys. I don't think they'd do it, will they? Oh! Yeah, they're not going to do it. Not a chance. Scientific cooperation? No. Yeah, they don't want. They they don't really want any friendship stuff with us. No. Um. Yeah, they're not, they're not even going to take an embassy. Look, we need to get we need to get them more friendly with us first. I don't know how how possible that is with this with this group that we've got. I don't know if the humanists are going to allow that. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I do think we're going to have to get... Oh, look at this. We're, we've still got this bottleneck here. Big bottleneck. Um, that truck station should next turn be pushing up. Yeah, okay. So next turn, look, we're going to get some out. We're going to get some truck points out. Lots of truck points. There we go. There we go. Now, how many do we use? Yeah, I think this should be enough to start fixing some of our issues at least. At least until this other truck station goes up. Let's roll the turn. Round 74, so let's see what's going on here. So we got uh, rifle, uh, rifle militia attackers, they lost 300 here. They're trying to break out of this little pocket. Well, it's not really a pocket, but... And uh, yeah, that's about it. There's not really much else going on. Uh, Vidcom... We failed, a, we failed a demand here, unfortunately. We also have completed development of line troops. We've completed research on advanced sensors. That's going to be immediately deployed out to all our units. And then we've discovered Armoured Army. Okay, right. Uh, what I meant to do before I rolled the turn last turn that I forgot to do was actually to play that card. So I'm going to use these two fake points, by the way, to play... Eager Industrialist. And we're going to put it into uh, Vicer here. Hold on. Yeah, that's right. New private industry asset, light industry asset. So that's going to give us a small boost to uh, to, to light industry, but uh, that gives the that gives the that gives these guys the opportunity. Sorry, the uh, private economy the opportunity to actually build upon that. They're actually building a farming dome community at the moment, which is good. They're going to give us a small amount of food that's going to be incoming too. We can tax that. So we've got the opportunity for a new organization. Um, I don't know if we've got the bureaucracy for this yet. Uh, I think I'm going to do it anyway. I think we need the Applied Science Council, actually. Okay. Interior Council Task Priorities. What's going on with money? We're still going backwards. Look, we need to sort this out. Um, 
Taris I don't care about really yet. I can't remember what all these do to be honest with you. I think they're mostly just they're just sort of generating stratagems. So Human Reese let me ah oh, what is our taxes at the moment? What is our tax rate? Income tax forty percent. We can't change that, it's too much. Um I can't remember what all these ones do. Let's just I, I think what we'll do is we'll just um level these two out somewhat. There we go. Okay, military research council re uh, research objective. Trifle gave me a lift of stuff he would go through. I think probably side skirts is the one to go for here, so that we can actually start getting to a decent tank model out. He's quite right that um, having having a decent tank model with side skirts really makes him much more durable. Okay, let's have a look at these line troops that we got. These guys have got automatic rifles and combat armor. Oh, they're better look. Right, okay, it's got a better structural design. It's actually a, a, it's actually a worse model at the moment, but this will be better to build on in the long term. Um, so let's just keep that in mind, okay? This is actually we'll just we'll keep these guys as our high and these as regulars. Um, just call these um, prototypes. We'll have the prototypes just in the background, but I'm, I might pump some of these guys out and just start developing those as a second second line. Uh, let's not bother with any tanks until we got side skirts. Turbo prop would be good for the uh, aircraft. Uh, let's just leave. Let's just leave this for the time being. I don't think I need it. I don't think I really need to build on anything, to be honest. What was that like? That was good. The heavy. We oh, it's not good, but it's it's at least decent design. I suppose we could make another one of those, but we haven't got... I suppose we need to get some... Let's just leave this for now. Let's just put no new orders. Minor worker strike in Corona. Let's just give them... Oh, hold on. Corona is the one in the north, isn't it? I'm just... There we are. We've got a few troops there, but not many. Um... We haven't got the money to... Understood. Okay, so we, we ended up killing... 200 people. Minor work strike in Visor. Um, yeah, again... Oh, we've got no one here. There's no one here, so... This one's a bit more difficult. Uh... Let's see if we've got any way of making money that doesn't involve selling all our metals. Nope. Um, yeah. Nation. Okay, we've got Patriotic Collection. This is, um, this does reduce Loyalty, and I'm pretty sure I did this recently on um, Kirkwall as well. Loyalty is 100% though, so... Haven't got any... Yeah, we can't play this yet, but at least we've got this card, so we can, we, we can potentially make some money if we need to. Um, I think I'm just going to have to do this for now. We need to get enforcement high. Uh, oh, we're actually... Okay, so enforcement's now taken over. That's good. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, we need to wait a few more turns for this to come in. Uh, we've got... We need two more rounds. And then we need six rounds for efficiency goals, but it's this one we want. It's discipline. This this tax bonus will, will hopefully take us mostly out of uh, the debt that we're in. I mean, it will help at least. Okay. Starting to pull this thing back. It's taken a while. See if we can eliminate this unit in one go. 
Okay, we got it. Good job. Alright, let's just leave those guys there. Before I do, let's just make sure they're all in supply. No, they're not. So let's get these guys back. Get them back in supply. Okay. Alrighty. Let's go and get those guys. Oh, I really want to take this military vessel if I can get it. That would be very, very nice indeed. So I'm going to feed all those. Guess so. Uh, sorry, what am I talking about? Okay, so I'm, I was just querying to myself whether this this um, amount of supply is going to actually supply all these troops, but apparently so. I guess they don't need a whole lot, just being, you know, mostly infantry. 1.7 turns left for this rare metal mines. That's not really moving anywhere, is it? Now, we do need to spend some industrial points getting these, get you know, pushing this back. Um, that said, we're, we're just not getting any supply out here, are we? I think the, the, the points are running out of this position. So, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's get a, let's get a truck station up here. Roger. Get a truck station out there. It's going to take a while to get there. Um, in the meantime, we're going to have to bring these guys back. Because they're, um, while they're building that truck station, we're not going to get many supplies up through that road. So, so I'm bringing these these guys back. Yeah, I don't want to move these tanks too far because I want to use too much fuel. Oh, we're really running out of oil. Not good. Not good at all. Uh, do we have any fuel deposits anywhere that we can exploit? There's one way to look at this, and that's on the strategic map using stats. So let's get to oil. Nothing. Nada. So I think we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get creative. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get creative. Let's go to Kirkwall. Oh, biofuel's going up now, look. It's going to go up next turn, but it's going to be a few turns. I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get... Let's get Vicer, and we're going to build a... Um, yeah, and then we're going to build some food up here as well. Agriculture. Sorry, guys. That's what I want. Hydroponics would be nice. Problem is, it takes these high-tech things, and we're going to need these. One thing that is good about it, though, is that it does take a lot less people. But it's a lot of energy. Saying that, saying that, though, we've got plenty of energy. Um, how much does it produce? 200. Doesn't use much water. I mean, water's not a problem. People is an issue. We're going to have to pay a lot more people. Oh, it's such a choice, isn't it? Because, you know, what, what do we sacrifice? Do we Do we pay more people? You know, 4,000 more people is going to be a fair fair whack of money at this stage of the game. Although we are about to hit that 50% tax bonus we're going to get. So, um, I mean, ideally, in the in the long term, you really want the hydroponics. Let's go with this. Let's build the hydroponics. We, we, are, we are going to be using... Uh, we'll go. I'll just get a few more of these. Uh, we'll go. Just get a few um, of these machines up because we're going to need them. Yeah, when the biofuel's up, that's good. We're actually going to get some fuel. I wonder if we can buy a little fuel. Not very expensive, look. Uh, Let's just buy a little fuel as well. It's going to stimulate the economy a little bit too. Which isn't going to hurt things. We are so low on money though. Uh, credits is very, very low. We're going to have to save up some political points, I think. Let's get these bikes down here. And I want these guys... I wanted these guys going down this way, I think, didn't I, down here? Uh, that's about it. I think that's about it. So... 
Schwarzmark, we've got to keep these guys on our on our side. I don't know what we're going to do about it because we don't have any cards at the moment. Um, it might be worth putting a bit of reinvestment back into the Foreign Affairs Council just so that we can... Standing by. So that we can get that back on the go. Um, and then we're going to have to find someone for the Applied Science Council next turn. Okay, guys, that's it.